about this shit. Let me just let me just bring it up. First, we have New York Post, the exact same uh, site, uh, the the exact same website that was used to come up with the term that some people thought that Raz Simone looked like a warlord. Let's take a look. Seattle police walked back their claim that businesses located within the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone were being extorted by protesters. That has not happened affirmatively, Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best said on Thursday, according to the Seattle Times. We haven't read any formal reports of this occurring. Yeah, um, as it turns out, Assistant Chief had heard anecdotally that businesses located within the Chaz, an autonomous zone taken over by protesters, um, were being forced to pay in, in, in order to operate in the area. As it turns out, that was invented in a whole cloth, just like half of the fucking lies these right-wingers tell about every single thing in the fucking world. This was bullshit. People literally, the Seattle Times, here we go. Where's the Seattle Times article? Here we go. This is the one. I think this is the one. Oh no, my here it is. No police reports were filed about the use of weapons to extort Capitol Hill businesses. Carmen best says, let me find the actual segment. Uh, where's the fucking thing? I don't know where it is. It's in here. This has been an updated one. I think I, save the wrong link. I got to find the actual article. Regardless, um, Seattle Times, um, the Seattle Times contacted both the police who were then forced to legally report that they had not received any such reports. And then Seattle Times business, uh, sorry, Seattle Times journalists called local businesses and they were able to find no businesses which were, which claimed to have been extorted. It was literally invented by, by the assistant police chief based on anecdotes and then it was repeated conveniently ah there we go um it, it was reported randomly or uh, repeated randomly um and conveniently by um by seattle police chief carmen best oh i screamed because um somebody redeemed a yell randomly um sorry i know it's unsettling but hey i gotta do what the points tell me just gotta do it the points tell me and I do it. Yeah, um, people voted. Oh, well, not voted, but people gave me ideas for things to put on um, on the stream points. Uh, if you look down at the bottom, um, hey, oh no, we've got we've got uh, we've had four people redeeming redeeming on screen emotes. I feel bad, but yeah, look, there's tons. Look at this. Look at all these emotes bouncing around on the screen. They're so cute. Yay! You can make Pompo. Look at this. You can make Yodas. Actually, I think I'm the only, me and Glooby are the only people who can make Yodas appear. Watch this. Watch how many Yodas I'm gonna make appear. Boom! Look at those Yodas. Look at those frogs. Ah! 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 <laughs> Too many yells. I'm gonna ah! <laughs> You've ruined my segment. <laughs> Anyway, I think yelling randomly. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Too many points. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm not yelling anymore. It's hurting my throat. I didn't expect you all to go so fucking ham. Ah! <laughs> all right, I'll stop now. All right, no more yelling randomly. Later, later. Yay. Yes, I've had Moxie. Moxie is great. Um, I personally like it quite a lot. <sighs> um, so let's uh let's finish this um this segment. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it, A Cab Brick. We're debunking this uh this horrific propaganda and we took a small break for me to yell multiple times. Um But yeah, uh so to get back to where we were. Um, yeah, so this entire section is, com is a complete and utter lie, whole cloth, just a hundred percent. Um, Carmen Best's assistant police chief heard anecdotal reports. And then, um, because, you know, of course you're going to do that when you're trying to spin a narrative. Um, Carmen Best told this to the press, but then when the press actually did their, um, their fair 
share, um, they were able to find out that no such things were um, were even reported. So it was complete and utter bullshit. Anyway, let's continue. Business owners in exchange for some of that protection. Our innovative chassis is took a page right out of the mafia's playbook. Yeah. I got my money. <laughs> they didn't I got my fucking money. Huh? So far, these are the only businesses and industries I could discover in Chaz. One reason for this is simple. Oh the boy. Most we'll watch this after. Factor for a thriving economy, for an economy to be able to attract new businesses, new entrepreneurs, foreign investors is stability. After all, if you're an entrepreneur, why would you open up shop if you don't know whether or not your business is going to... Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. This wasn't from Chaz. This this wasn't from Seattle. Can be burned to the ground tomorrow. That why isn't Seattle. Shop if the gov that also isn't Seattle. This isn't Seattle. This was in Minneapolis. I saw this happen live. Government is unstable if the country is going to... I think that I think this one was Minneapolis. I, sh I shouldn't go that close. I have not. I have not had that under the thunder. Go to war or fall apart soon. Stability is the name of the game here, and Chaz has none. But don't lose hope yet, because Chaz's economy has one thing that no other nation in the world has. The complete, indisputable support from another government. Uh, that's also not true. This is another claim that I was able to very easily debunk, and we'll talk about that in a second. But I just wanted to make mention. It's really funny to me. Um, It's really funny to me that he that uh, this person keeps, this guy keeps using images from Les Miserables. Les Miserables, um, which was fucking mercantilist, like mercantilist monarchy, like pre-capitalism. Like, wh like what the fuck? Sure, some countries get a lot of foreign aid, a lot are in alliances with other nations, but to my knowledge, no other country has ever gotten free toilets, 24-7 electricity, running water, emergency medical- Hey, fun fact. Oh yeah, he should just use footage from Snowpiercer. Fun fact, um, Chaz and Chop actually had agreements with city workers. As it turns out, um... They were organizing. I was able to do a significant amount of research. We don't need to go through all of these articles. Um, but if anybody doesn't believe me, here is an article. Um, let me just find a couple of these here. Here's one of the articles I found. Um, this was from local news. Um, there was a, there was literally, they, the organizers of Chaz Chop um, had a agreement with city workers for trash um, they had an agreement with the public utilities. Um, they had an agreement with the fire department and they had an agreement with, with local hospitals. The only group that they didn't have an agreement with was the fucking police. And in fact, as we will get into in just a minute, you will find out that the police actually actively prevented, um, Seattle fire from getting into Chaz even though they had an agreement with the organizers of Chaz and special lanes had been made to allow fire departments, fire department workers into the autonomous zone. Um, oh, was it well into capitalism? Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I guess it is the French Revolution. So yeah, I guess it would be. Um, but yeah, so this is another one that's complete bullshit. Um, also, he keeps showing pictures of like porta potties in here. He's like, oh yeah, we got these pictures of porta potties. Every single porta potty I went back and watched every single porta potty in this video is a honey bucket fucking porta potty, which is a private company with a terrible fucking name. Why you would ever name your porta potty company that is I have no fucking clue, but that's a private porta potty company. The porta potties weren't fucking provided by this by the fucking city. People paid for them. People who live in Capitol Hill. This is all, this person, this video just reeks of somebody not even knowing what the fuck Capitol Hill is. It's a residential, yeah, I know, honey bucket, it's terrible. Um, it, not even knowing this is a residential neighborhood. It's completely ridiculous. Support all 100% provided by the government they rebelled against. So in a sense. Again, also not true. This was a rebellion against the police, not against the government of Seattle. This was, there was, in fact, Chaz Chop had really good agreements with public transit. They had really good agreements with Seattle Fire. They had agreements with local hospitals, as, again, as we will find out shortly um, in, in the next segment. Um, they had all these agreements. The only people that they were 
the only portion of the government that they were rebelling against was the portion of the government that had been beating their heads in with sticks and shooting gas canisters at them for no reason. That's the ones. So, yeah, Jake Tran, you could shut the fuck up with your fucking lies. We're, we're like, we're just barely over 50% into this video and nearly every single thing in this video has been a lie. Since Chaz's economy is relatively stable, it's bankrolled by the taxpayers of Seattle. Another thing an economy needs is safety. It existed for 10 days. What the fuck are you talking about? After all, no one wants to- And it's not a nation! Immigrate to a place that isn't safe, so let's look at that next. Ah, yes. Safety is of utmost importance to Chaz. Since Chaz bans police and police are needed to escort emergency services into their nation- Ah, fun fact. It was Seattle police policy. It was Seattle police policy that um, that Im other emergency services would need protection by a Seattle police um, convoy in order to um, uh, in order to uh, to enter. So it was actually um, the police who made that rule. The police made the rule that they didn't want any other services going into Chaz Chop unless there was a police escort. So it was not uh, firefighters, uh, ambulances, all of them were willing to go into Chaz Chop, but the police were the ones who said, no, we want to be able to escort you. And that was backed up by Mayor Jenny Durkin. So just so you know, the police made that happen, not Chaz Chop. They had to build a very elite group of police, medics, and border patrol guards from scratch. We are going to make these streets safe. They didn't have border patrol guards. They had literal community guardians, which are a very different role. There wasn't a fucking border checkpoint, you fucking idiot. We are going to make these streets safe. Everything is good. Ha 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 I love this show. It's so funny. Ha 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 I love this. We have heard that there are armed people. Hey, there we go. Chief of police again. Trolling. The streets near 12th and Pine. But let's... And? It is perfectly legal for armed people in the state of Washington to patrol wherever the fuck they want. Say you're a chassis and you get raped or robbed or any other kind of violent crime and you decide that what- Ah <laughs> Funny guy with gun from comedy show! Ha ha ha! Wow, I believe in this. Well, maybe police are okay in this instance, so you call 911. Well, be prepared to wait because they won't be able to get to you. Fun fact, did you know that 911 is emergency services and isn't just supposed to go to the police? Huh, weird how that works out. We did it, Patrick! We saved the city! Our 911... <laughs> SpongeBob! Uh, response times have tripled in the area. They've gone from just over 5 minutes to about 18 minutes. However, citizens are allowed to open carry weapons as seen here with a guy swinging... Uh-oh, uh-oh, looks like you better take on the fucking Constitution of Washington, which allows people to open carry weapons. Whoopsies, completely legal. It's literally legal in almost every fucking state in the United States to have a machete. ...around a machete, so just make sure you're packing 24-7. And I really do mean that, because the latest news at the time of recording this video show that there have been at least three shootings in and around Chaz. Oh, Notice how he notice how he says in and around Chaz. Yeah, as it turned out, a whole bunch of the supposed shootings that happened in Chaz never happened in Chaz. They happened outside and the police refused to respond to multiple shootings just because they said that it was within Chaz and then as it turns out it wasn't in Chaz. So who's the who's the fucking person? Oh yeah, this is this is absolutely bad faith. This entire but this that's why we're debunking it because this is I just want people to have some tools and to know that if you ever encounter this type of video that they're just lying. They just lie from the fucking bottom up. There is nothing of fact in here. And the few pieces of um the few facts that this guy calls upon, um the few facts that this fucker calls upon are so taken out of context that as it as the to, to make them meaningless. Yeah, of course. Well, just wait. It's going to get even worse. So we're going to talk about these shootings a little bit. One of them resulted in a man bleeding to death because police weren't allowed to escort paramedics in. Ah, yes. This is interesting. So this is actually referring... Um, he In this particular clip, he's referring to two different shootings which happened. Um, 
yeah, I'm quite angry right now about this video. Absolutely. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, so this is referring to two different shootings, and he's got them a bit mixed up here. In one, there was a shooting that was involved two random protesters got in a fight and shot at each other. Um, and what happened at that time was uh, the police were there at the time. They immediately tried to push in because there was a crowd going on when these two people fought. Um, uh, uh, yeah, so so there were two, there was basically a big crowd Two protesters started fighting, and one of them shot the other one. And the police were there on site. They tried to they tried to charge in and push through the crowd of people. As it turns out, when you're pushing in with shields and batons, you people get really panicked. And they kept saying, "They're gone! They're gone!" And the reason for this is because Chaz's medics had already moved the 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 uh, victim away from the site. They had come in, they had patched the wound and moved them away. In the resulting chaos, um, the police were unable to get through and the sh and the um, and the shooting victim was transported by a private vehicle to the hospital and they died in the hospital. So yeah, and the other event that happened was there was a shooting outside of Chaz Chop where um they are sorry. There was a shooting inside of Chaz Chop where the um, fire department and ambulance were called and um, the police never showed up. The police never showed up, even though multiple calls were made by the fire department and emergency services for the police to arrive. The police never showed up. And then they denied that they ever received those calls. But the fire department and ambulance uh, maintain that this was the case. Um, and, uh, yeah, so then that person was transported away by Chaz Chop Medics. Uh, also, keep in mind, again, another thing that people don't realize, there are literally two hospitals inside the bounds, or sorry, one hospital inside the bounds of Capitol Hill and one literally just outside the bounds of Capitol Hill. So when, when they say, oh, they weren't emergency services weren't allowed, that's not true. Much of the emergency services... In, Ch in Capitol Hill operate from inside of Capitol Hill. Wait, you should never move a victim. They were medics. They were medically trained people and they took them to the hospital to try and save their life. Do you, wait, wait, Sheb, do you realize that private, that am most ambulances in the United States are private ambulances? You realize that, right? Like, Public ambulance is mostly only to do with fire departments, and most ambulances in the United States are run by private companies. So when those trained EMTs make the call to move somebody to the hospital, that's the same fucking thing. Sorry. Looks like you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, dying ain't free here in the United States. It's already outsourced to um, to private people. So when a, when a trained medic, of which there were many in Chaz Chop, um, when a private medic decides to move, um, decides to say, hey, we're going to transport this person to a nearby hospital for safety. Um, yeah, that's completely and utterly normal and completely within the bounds of what they're saying. Uh, no, fuck you. you. This is your warning, buddy. This is your warning. If you tell me to do anything again on my channel ever again, I will straight up ban the absolute fucking shit out of you. So if you want to hang out, all right. You got, if you, if you, um, if you would like to hang out in this chat anymore, um, you can stop telling me what the fuck to do, um, or you can enjoy not being a part of this chat. Uh, but if you're enjoying watching the show and want to hang out in a productive manner, that can be, that can be managed. But if you're just going to come here and tell me what to do, um, I'll fucking just ban you. That's real easy. <laughs> I know I'm so cool. Um, yeah, yes, I am. Thank you. All right. That works. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Um, by the way, yeah, I know these people are so stupid. Like, okay, sh watch this hundred percent chance, 100% chance. I will get DM'd by Sheb. And secondly, they're going to hang out here and watch and probably make a, uh, they'll probably make an alt to come into chat. That's how fucking triggered losers. These motherfuckers are, they come in, they say, Oh, stop swearing so much. Ugh. And then they make fucking stupid little, uh, insinuations and bullshit. And then they'll inevitably DM me. They'll inevitably try to get back in my chat because they're so desperate for attention. They'll do anything. 
Oh, good. Yeah, Zanzi, good. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. These fucking people, they come into my, they come into here so bored, so, so fucking desperate. And then they want me to be, play fucking nice to them. Uh, they told me to stop swearing and shit. Yeah. Yep, it's all right. We don't need you. We don't need that type. But feel free to donate, uh, subscribe, whatever. We'll gladly take your money. We just don't want to hear your goddamn voice. You are femoid? Yeah, I'm going to swear as much as I fucking want. Oh, are they already an alt? Yeah, I bet they're one of my, uh, my, uh, fucking, I bet they're another one of my fucking, uh, people who love to come in here and keep coming back. It's all right. Dabo. And because Chaz only has a population of around yep. maybe two True, hundred, South Carolina. give or take. Oh, okay. Means... This part is fascinating. I want you guys to just try and fathom this math. Ready? In. And because Chaz only has a population of around maybe 200, give or take, that means their murder rate per capita is G. 500 per 100,000 people? This means that Chaz has... That's not how math works. That's, that's not how math works. why they've already lied so much why not just lie why just not why not just keep lying instead of trying to do stupid fucking math they want to have their cake and eat it too they want to seem like logic bros um like they're super smarty brains and then they do shit like this um just listen to this again and here's the source by the way bongino.com we'll we'll go look at that in a minute this one is hilarious just watch that means their murder rate per capita is G. 500 per 100,000 people? This means that Chaz has taken the throne from Venezuela as the most murderous nation. Venezuela had a homicide rate of 60.3 per 100,000 people in 2019. Since Chaz has a rate of 500 per 100,000 people, that means Chaz is more murderous by a factor of 830%. Wow. Chaz is also very sanitary. You've already seen- Look, look. Honey bucket, 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 honey bucket. Every single porta potty in here belongs to a private company named Honey Bucket. Keep in mind that um honey that fucking honey bucket fuck I hate that fucking name so goddamn much. God damn it. Did I say honey buttock? God damn it. Um but keep in mind that these many of these fucking porta potties already exist in seattle like like already exist in capitol hill like there are businesses and uh and like um and the universities that already put these in there they already have them available as public bathrooms because um capitol hill is one of the most visited residential neighborhoods in the city there's a whole bunch of restaurants and cultural um points that are really important to the city and people go to visit there so there's porta potties all over the fucking place yeah, these were pretty much this this is old spray paint. These were probably spray these were probably spray painted a fucking like 20 years ago. Fucking goddamn it. I know logic bros. These these people, holy shit. The porter potty Seattle provided for Lum. The city also sent in cleanup. Again, also no citation that those were provided by the city. Crews at their own expense. <laughs> Funny very show. generous of them. And at one point, Chazians even thought about designating a dedicated area to do drugs. So if you're really into shooting up, start packing your bags, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, S uh, safe injection sites. I don't know if you've ever heard of those, but they are extremely effective. A uh, a a a safe injection site is a place where basically um, a bunch of nurses work. A bunch of nurses and medically trained people work and you can go there and they allow you to shoot up in the presence of medical professionals and they will not tell the police. The reason why they do this is because as it turns out, if you're addicted to heroin, you're going to shoot up and they would rather have you do it in a place where there's medical help on hand and Narcan on hand so that you don't die. So that you can hopefully get help for your addiction. As opposed to just dying in a corner somewhere. Weird. Funny. So it, here they go. Yeah, I know. It's just, oh, drugs. Oh, no. I'm scared of them. Drugs are scary. 
There's also That's what this boils down to. things like freedom of religion, so you don't have to worry about outside religions and cultures tainting your own. As seen here with the mob. Wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't even remember this one. What the fuck? When Chazians even thought about designating a dedicated area to do drugs. So if you're really into shooting up, start packing your bags, ladies and gentlemen. There's also no pesky things like freedom of religion. What? Citation? Big citation needed? What? I didn't even catch this one last night. What the fuck? So you don't have to worry about outside religions and cultures tainting your own. As seen here with the mob choking a preacher face down. Literally, no indication as to where this video is, where it came from, who's in the video, or what's happening. Completely contextless, random video. This could have just been a fight between two people. Who knows? This could have been in a completely other city. What the fuck is this? On this religion, oh, on this religious thing, I couldn't cite a, cite a voice for the video of the guy getting beat. Wait, you know where this video came from? Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, absolutely, Riot Girl Cali, one hundred percent. The war on drugs is absolutely about pr getting basically fucking free labor, um, out of dehumanized drug addicts. They don't treat it like a fucking medical issue. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> So you know the government of Chaz, you know the business and economic environment it has. You also know other important factors like- Fun fact, it's really funny to me that they didn't even, um, that they didn't even show the, the no cop co-op. I don't think this is the no cop co-op. Um, the no cop co-op, which was incredibly popular within Chaz Chop and, um, and operated off of donations. And guess what happened to the no cop co-op? The no cop co-op was destroyed by cops and all of the stuff that they raised money, all the donations that they received were bagged up in trash bags and sent to the dump. Food, medicine, toothbrushes, clothing, all bagged up by the police and destroyed. By the police. They didn't have to do that. They chose to do that. The police chose to do that. There was no legal necessity to destroy the no-cop co-op. But they did. Also, when the uh, when the cops cleared Cal Anderson, which is the, which is the uh, field that you've seen multiple times in this video, when the police cleared that, they destroyed the belongings of of all of the homeless people that belonged that, that, that lived there. The homeless people that had moved in because... As I've stated in many other things, Seattle has a, a literal homelessness crisis. Lots of, of homeless people were taking shelter in Cal Anderson. And their stuff was destroyed by the cops. Bagged up, sent to the dump. Destroyed. No reason. They did not have to do that. Yeah, exactly, Gina Ragnos. Why make people's lives better when you could cosplay as Judge Dredd? Hey, don't worry about it, Purple Purple. Not a big deal. No cop co-op, no cop co-op, no cop co-op. <laughs> I'm good at that one. How stable and how safe it is. Now the only logical choice is to move the chest and make it your new home, right? Well, not so fast. As we mentioned before, the chess empire has pretty much fallen. After the recent shootings, oh, the mayor that claims that they're going to take- Now that was from, from Capitol Hill. I know where that is. Take back the yeah, the Empire. I know. I love. You've got to love it. You've got to love how much. Like, do you see how much bullshit it is? This is like a layer cake of all bullshit. There's no fact in here. Nothing that's said in this video is true. Oh, sorry. I didn't catch the end of that purple purple. I hope you feel better. Holy shit. That's such a long time. You need to get some rest. I hope your day goes better from here. Don't be, don't be ashamed. We all, we all have rough days sometimes, okay? Don't worry about it. Police station the mob overthrew and dismantled the entire occupation. Along with that, local residents and business... Uh, when they say the police overthrew, what happens was the police said, we're taking it back today. And then Chaz Chop said, okay, then that's your right. Um, we have, we have, we have no ability. We don't, we're not interested in a war with the police. So if you're going to come in here armed to the teeth, we we'll, we have no choice but to seat it. So they had to seat it and then they seated it. And then you know what the police did? They fucked everything up. 
The police went in, they broke people's shit, they stole people's shit, they put it all in giant dumpsters, and they threw it away. So, you know what? Yeah, fuck 12, all right? Come on, that's that's bullshit. Literally the opposite of what this motherfucker's saying. There was no fucking armed conflict. Yes, did Chaz Chop have self-defense guards? Absolutely. But we're talking like a handful of guards. A handful of guards who were there to prevent the worst of the violence. Yeah, the party of so-called law and order. They march in and for no reason destroy people's shelters, destroy uh, don it freely donated belongings, destroy um, charitably given um, things. Come on. Charitably, uh, charitably given supplies that were desperately needed by the homeless population. Just so you all know, you like just for anyone who doesn't know, most of the reason why Chaz Chop existed was because there's so many homeless people that have, that are constantly having their um, encampments destroyed. That many of them moved in and were willing to stay there and uh, join not only join the protest that existed, but the reason why Chaz Chop. Per, uh, went forward is because it was sheltering so many people who have no homes. That's why it was able to keep perpetuating. That's why it lasted as long as it did. Because there were a ton of people living there. Yeah, I know. Owners are suing the city for abandoning them. So if you're an aspiring nation builder that wants to start your own Chaz, if you can't control the violence, if you can't keep the image of just a peaceful protest, you will be crushed. See, Chaz did the smart thing. Oh yeah, it's really funny too, because a lot of the businesses that are suing the city are pro-BLM businesses. They're pro-BLM businesses that are mad that the police doused the entire neighborhood in tear gas and then abandoned. So the police came in, ruined the neighborhood, beat a bunch of people up, destabilized the neighborhood, and then left. So the businesses are suing the city not because of Chaz. They're suing the city because the city caused all of this to happen. Because it was the police that caused all this to happen. By changing its name from Chaz, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, to CHOP, the Capitol Hill Occupied Protest. Why? Because the leaders of Chaz understood the importance of public image. Their former name, Chaz, screams, we took over your land and created an independent nation that you should this probably is invade just, to protect- This is all editorializing. He's just making shit up here. This is just his own personal opinion on why they changed the name. Your interest. The latter screams, this is just a protest. We're still citizens. No need to cut off the taxpayers' money or send in the troops. Yeah, it's funny. They couldn't do that. As it turns out, they weren't allowed to do that. Do you want to know why? They couldn't do that because many of the people who were protesting fucking lived in Capitol Hill. And it was determined that Seattle, uh, Seattle City Light and Seattle Water were not going to turn off the fucking, um, the fucking utilities of the, of the entire neighborhood. So ridiculous. Yeah, I know. It's, it's. So what are the biggest lessons to take away from this? Number one, if- So what are the biggest lessons? Well, if you claim to side with the angry mob, whether that's true or not, anything is possible. All your opposition, any authority will bow down to you in submission. And number two, before you start your revolution, make sure you have a detailed plan in place to restore order and maintain your power, or else things will very quickly descend into chaos. Random, random contextless video. Again. Welcome to the watch the end. Yeah, fuck off. So there we go. We watched it. We did it. We watched the stupid fucking video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to show one other thing. Here we go. This is one of the, by the way, just so we know what, what the uh, sort of like, uh, what the quality of, um, of articles that we've, that, that were pulled on. Let me just give you, this was one of the only things that he actually cited in the video. Uh, the Dan Bongino show, which, uh, let's take, it's called the Bongino report. Uh, let's find out. Let's, what can we find out about the Bongino show? Let's find out. Oh, look, they're on Twitter. Oh my. Hmm. One of the most listened to conservative podcasts on the country. Ah, yes. Very, very, uh, very reputable source here. Oh, look, he's, he's doing the AOC thing. 
Uh oh, looks like we got an NPC on our hand. Uh. Uh, anti uh, school reopening pro uh propaganda. Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, is this guy a QAnoner? Oh, more AOC fear mongering. Anyway, let's read this article real quick. <laughs> join, join down on parlor. Lol. This is the article right here. Look at that. Look at that. Nice beefy citations. And this is where the number came from, by the way. After a handful of reported sexual assaults, no citation, violence against outsiders, no citation, and numerous thefts, no citation, the Seattle Autonomous Zone, known as Chaz and or Chop, suffered their first reported homicide over the weekend. Um, in line with their no cops allowed philosophy, police weren't allowed to enter following the shooting. Also not true. We already debunked that. Since paramedics need police to clear an area before operating following a shooting, they were unable to assist the person shot who bled out for 30 minutes and eventually died. Yes, that's because the police never showed up. We already debunked this. Had the police been allowed in, it's likely the person would have lived. Also not true because they were transported away um, after medics on site immediately treated them and transported them to the hospital where they died at the hospital. Another person was shot and survived. Hmm, funny how that works. Um, Seattle police are currently investigating reports of another sh shooting. Also, no citations. While the media has been portraying this modern rendition of Lord of the Flies. Wow, good reporting here. Um, due to their low population, this single murder, this single murder already makes Chaz Chop the most violent nation in the world. It's not a fucking nation. Chaz Chop is estimated to have a small population of only 200. Um, actually, I don't think that's true. Real quick. Let's just find out. Let me just find out real quick. The total population of Capitol Hill is 32,000. Now, I know that Chaz wasn't all of Capitol Hill, but I'm having a hard time believing that the only amount of people living within the entire six blocks of Chaz Chop was only 200 people. So this is even more bullshit. Why bother doing math? Why bother doing math if you're just going to lie? Why do they do this? Why do they do this? Why do they make shit up like this? Why the fuck do they do this? I don't understand. Just lie. If you're going to, this is, makes your argument even less convincing. I guess because really, really, really stupid people who aren't listening are going to be fooled by the fact that there is some math. They're like, oh, there was math in the video. That must mean the video was right. Damn, maybe we ought to learn from them. I could just throw random numbers up on the screen. Here we go. Um, a 200. Uh, did you know there are 200% more evils in the Republican Party than there is in the Democratic Party? Ha ha, facts and logic owned. Yeah, that number. this number is complete BS. So, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. See, Zanzi, I told you it was that easy. All I needed to do to win the propaganda battle was start using numbers. Of course, one could argue this is misleading. It is objectively misleading because Chaz and or Chop has a small permanent population and many thousands enter their alleged paradise every single day. What? Alleged paradise? Chaz Chop was never supposed to be a paradise. It was literally a pragmatic response to the fact that the police decided to gas Capitol Hill so hard that you couldn't see the floor from third story apartments in the neighborhood. These people live in a fucking alternate reality. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a second, son, Gniff. That's not what you were supposed to do. Yeah, you want to wait, you want to come into the call, uh, Gina, you can come in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can bring you in. Hold on. Uh, we finished the video. So no, no, it was it was no, no, you were supposed to become a hardcore radical Marxist. God damn it. How did the numbers turn you into a neolib? Oh, God damn it. Gina here, uh, let me just get you in real quick here. Give me a second here. Here we go.
I mean, they are 200% more evil than the Democrats. That's that's true, even if you're a leftist. It's true. It's true. Where is Gina? Hold on. <laughs> one, give me just one second here. Oh, now nah, that's totally false, Sun Sun Ganif. That's just not true. The Democratic the Democratic Party is is like really incompetent but they're nowhere near as bad as the republicans are you fucking kidding me the republicans are so bad they are so bad like the, the the republicans are fucking monstrous are you kidding me like they advocate for they they want to just set, they want to just fucking shut off the entire social safety net and just send children back to school to die um even though the democrats are really incompetent and stupid um they're like uh, they're they're infinitely better than the Republicans. The Re Republicans are fucking terrible. Oh, 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 okay. Sorry, I didn't realize you were in here. I can uh, bring you in. One second. Hey, can you hear me? You should be able to hear me now, Gina. I think you're muted at the moment. Oh, oh, wait, I think I have to unmute you. Hold on. There we go. I don't know why it does that. Can you hear okay. me? Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely hear you. Hey, Gina. How's it going? Yeah, it's, go it's going good. So, like, I just uh, want to get a quick input. So, like, this is, like, one of the most hilariously inept videos I've ever, like, listened to in my entire lifetime. It's so bad. Yeah. Like, I mean, this guy, like, cited an article that completely contradicted what he said. And even the h title of the Forbes article, um, the alleged warlord of chaz yeah um yeah like it just contradicts i mean even the title contradicts like the video that like sign like black and indigenous like oh black only ethno state but like i mean no it's like definitely for like other people in chaz as well yeah it's a giant nothing burger like even the part the even the part with the blacks only space the black only space was literally like a planned event by local activist groups that they sent out flyers for it were like for two hours one corner of cal anderson will be a space where black people can meet and talk to other black people about politics it's literally they they it this is the most like like i don't even know it's like it reminds me of that scene you, you know the movie the prince of egypt you know that movie? Oh uh, yeah. You know the yeah, scene. Yeah, you know the scene where like Moses goes in and it's like Ramses has his like his like little warlocks like do a bunch of stuff and they do like finger puppets on the wall and stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's that. It's literally that. It's like it's like he, oh, this man. guy's like a total charlatan, just like little tiny making like a, a shape with his hand and it looks like a monster yeah. and it's like oh, oh oh my god, it's literally um, all made up. It's it's just from yeah. the bottom up. Yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. So like uh yeah so like and even then like the thing is uh even if like Chaz had like 200 people in the area like 200 people in the protest zone like it wouldn't even matter because like one death would be completely irrelevant because like these uh sort of like statistics for like per capita murder rates yeah uh, they're supposed to be like an analyzing like actual countries with policies and stuff like that not a like simple protest zone right. um like that's just formed overnight. Yeah, it, it's it's silly. Yeah. And also, you know, there's another way that you could twist this really easily. You could just flip those numbers mm -hmm. around and go, yeah, I want to know what the uh, let's let's find out what the tear gas per square inch in Capitol mm -hmm. Hill was versus any other nation in the world. And you'll find out that the density, the sheer amount of tear gas used over six days in Capitol mm -hmm. Hill is probably is probably so ridiculously dense that it would blow that fucking murder number out of the out of the water. If you want to be manipulative about numbers, let's let's be yeah. real here. Yeah. yeah, true. Yeah. Even if it was an actual country, like one death really would not mean anything. Yeah. Like murder rates are like collected over like a year and stuff like that. But so remember, like, you know, with yeah. statistics, it's real, you know, as we know, you can just extrapolate from a mm -hmm. very tiny protest zone to a number that's based on a per capita of one out of every 100,000. That's how mm -hmm. math works. You could just whatever, 
you know mm -hmm. that's how these things work you know it doesn't it doesn't right. matter that there's that there's enormous an enormous difference between a population of 200 and a population of 100,000 and that the, you can't make direct corollaries but whatever let's just fucking brush mm -hmm. that under the rug because the goal is to make you angry you're supposed to be angry not thinking mm -hmm. <laughs> thinking yeah uh, thinking is, is for losers what thinking is, is for sandwich with words yeah, as uh, Duke Nukem said, like thinking is for p words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just want to like end it off uh, here. Like, if anyone ever found that like video convincing whatsoever, um, that's akin to liking Elfin Laid, and you really need to like challenge the way you consume information and how you consume media. You know, I've never seen Elfin Laid or Laid uh, or not... Laid. I don't know how it's like said. me too, but I'm gonna like watch it and like I definitely know it's gonna be shit because like I've watched the trailer for it and already like I'm just getting vibes like being like one of the most pretentious animes I might have like watched. I have heard that about it. I have heard it's very pretentious. Well, mm -hmm. Gina, thank you for coming on. Uh is there anything yeah. else you wanted to say? Do you want to plug your channel before you uh, head out? Uh yeah. Uh, follow me at Gina Ragnos TV. Um uh, uh no, just Gina Ragnos at Twitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gina uh, underscore Ragnos, right? That's what yeah, underscore, underscore right? Ragnos. Excellent. Yeah, I'll just awesome. uh, post a link in chat. All right, awesome. uh, have a good time. Yeah, thank uh, you so much. And thanks for yeah. sending that video over. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was a nice talk. Yeah, so hell yeah. Well, we did it. That